At each event, you will find these items in your boxes, which you must then set up. When heating up water, make sure the kettle is plugged into a different circuit so there is no risk of blowing a fuse. When setting up the tablecloth, ensure the front legs of the table are hidden. Our baristas aim to arrive 45 minutes prior to the event start time. During this time, the machine will be warming up and setup of the bar will take place. The first thing that must be done is one water jug must be filled up. Only tap water can be used to fill the jug. The second jug is used as an out jug. Once the water is filled, be sure to plug in the espresso machine to allow it to warm up. If more than one barista is present, the machines will be plugged into separate circuits. Once that is done, all the smaller items must be set up next. When packing machines onto the trolley for transport, make sure to place the machine in the back portion of the trolley to make sure it doesn't fall off the front if you hit a bump. The espresso machine should be the center focus of the setup. Position the sugar and garbage bin away from the center of the table to ensure an efficient flow of customers. Place the tea box on the outskirts of the table as well, away from traffic. Place the smaller espresso cups on top of the machine with the Thai logo facing the crowd. And place the cappuccino cups stacked to one side of the machine with the logo also facing outward. Use the decorative sign and espresso beans and grounds to hide any large items being used beside the machine. Lastly, be sure to place the Stay Connected sign and our business cards in a visible area for all customers to see. Hide any eyesores under the table, such as a trolley and bin, and never have personal items visible, such as a water bottle or cell phone. The setup should be rounded, or items on the side of the machines should be one inch back continuously. Espresso, which is normally ordered as a single short shot, but may be ordered as a long or double. When making an Americano, use a large cup and run an espresso all the way to about an inch from the top, leaving some space for milk. Do not add hot water. This is the Espresso Bella way of making an Americano and is the closest beverage to a regular coffee. Cappuccino. A cappuccino is composed of one third espresso, one third steamed milk, and one third foam milk. Variety of gourmet teas. Allow the customer to choose their tea which will be displayed in front of the bar. Then add hot water to their cup. A latte is composed of a shot of espresso, two thirds steamed milk, and very little foamed milk on top. A macchiato is an espresso with a touch of foamed milk poured on top. Mochaccino. A mochaccino is a cappuccino with chocolate sauce. Allow the sauce to drip down the side of the cup so when it fills with coffee, you will still see the top of the chocolate and you don't forget which cup you put the chocolate in. Lastly, hot chocolate. Hot chocolate is made by adding a scoop of the hot chocolate powder into the cappuccino cup, adding some hot water and froth milk on top. Prior to adding in the froth milk, 
whisk the cocoa powder in hot water thoroughly to ensure that all the cocoa powder has been dissolved. Some additional things that may be found on your menu are beverage branding and a stencil. Beverage branding is edible sugar paper that can be placed on top of any milk-based drink. Beverage branding can have anything from monograms, logos, faces, images, or even quotes on it. The sugar does not change the flavor of the drink whatsoever. Whereas stencils display initials or a logo on top of each milk-based beverage with cocoa or cinnamon. The customer is then able to keep it for any future uses of their own. Once the event is finished, it is time to tear down the bar. Start by wiping where the portafilter was and be sure to get all the coffee grounds out of that area. Next, empty out all the excess milk in your frothing jug and fill it up with fresh, clean, cold water. Then you must frost this water until it becomes warm. This is to ensure milk doesn't get clogged and hardened inside the frothing wand. After that, be sure to wipe down the entire machine. However, do not use the dirty, used cloth to do so. Find some paper towel to wipe down the machine. Once that is finished, put the previously used cloth in an empty milk bag and into the cooler. The information to be filled out consists of name and phone number, email, event date, location, address, city, postal code, number of guests, duration, start and end time, and any other information. We proudly cater all over Ontario.